To gear and guitars with Mel. As usual, I'm Mel. And today, what we are checking out is a Groat. Groat. This is the Groat full scale electric guitar semi hollow body. That's literally what it's called. I don't. I don't know. So uh, one of those Amazon deals. You know, one of those. Hey, you can get one of these. It costs. I don't know. I think a buck fifty or something. I don't. I don't remember. But uh, figured I'd check it out. Semi hollow. China, you know, they look the goods. Check that out. My kid's already got some stuff on it, but what are you going to do? Look at that weird red spot right there. See that? But yeah, uh, nifty, nifty guitar. All right. So it's got a bone nut, um, which surprised me. I'm not going to lie. Uh, it's a vintage sunburst finish is what they call it. And okay, cool. Uh, actually has a, a good switch. It's a Switchcraft style switch. It's not one of the Korean box switches that are just awful. They work. They definitely work. I have them in a couple of guitars probably, but they won't last forever in there. Um, does have dime size pots, which surprised me, but uh, what are you can do, right? So we got a maple top. Okay, we got a maple back, maple sides, maple neck. And a blackwood fretboard, blackwood. Now, when you start getting into the timbers and stuff like that, you look at, generally, somebody would say uh, African blackwood. That's the good stuff. That's the good timbers that people like to use. Um, very close to ebony, uh, very, very similar. This, as you can see, is super light, looking an awful lot like Indian laurel. But it says it's blackwood. It has a really nice little uh, figure to it, though. I'll give it that. Um, so, yeah, I don't know that it's not like some kind of engineered timber or something like that. I, I really don't know. Because um, all the information I just gave you is the only information I have about this guitar. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't find any anywhere. Uh, so, I, <laughs> I don't know. What, that's what you Maple get. back, no. maple top. Maple sides, maple neck, uh, blackwood fingerboard, in a vintage sunburst with a bone nut. Does have this nifty, they do have this nifty uh, cross rod cover here though. You know, then you can just get that thing around it. Like Ivanez has stuff like that, that makes it real, real accessible. And I think, if I'm being honest, I think in the description that was actually one of like the selling points is it has a metal truss rod cover. So. You know, they're, I don't know, guys. I try and bring you what I can to show you what's out there on the budget side of guitars. And uh, this is what, we, what we're into. This is, this is what I found. This is what we're working on right now. <laughs> Thank you. 
This guitar looks great, okay? It's beautiful. It really is. I really, really like it. I think it's classic looking. It's solid enough for the uh, cost. This is probably the best semi-hollow guitar you Stays can Stays in tune-ish, even with these horrible, horrible tuners, okay? Um, the hardware is... things a little bit I'm, I'm not gonna lie if you spent the buck 50 buck 60 whatever this is um i don't think you well i tell it. you the pickups Thank you for checking out Gear Guitars with Mel. As usual, I'm Mel. I got some other stuff coming for you, though, so, so don't worry too much, all right? Take it easy, guys.